Hello, thank you for stopping by. I'm gonna read the story, Pinkalicious and the Cupcake Chlamydity. One Sunday morning, we saw a huge crowd outside, Mr. Swizzle's ice cream shop. I stopped to see what was happening. Step right up, folks, Mr. Swizzle called. Behind him was a pink curtain. Prepare your taste buds, said Mr. Swizzle. Dessert is about to be served. He lifted the curtain. The crowd gasped. Right in front of me was the biggest, fanciest machine in the world. Lights were flashing. Gears were turning. It hummed, buzzed, and beeped. Behold, said Mr. Swizzle, my cupcake creomatic. Just add a dollar and your cupcake will bake right on the spot. I couldn't wait to try it. Me first, I said. I ran to the machine and put in my dollar. I chose a strawberry cupcake with pink frosting and pink sprinkles. I pressed the green button. Nothing happened. Bake, I said, pressing again. But no cupcake came out. Let me try, said Allison. One after the other, people put their money in. But nothing came out. What's going on here? The crowd started to grumble. People were getting upset. So was I. I wanted my cupcake. I'm so sorry, said Mr. Swizzle. Let me get the owner's guide. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. I couldn't wait that long. I wanted a pink cupcake. Hmm, I thought. I looked hard at the machine. I walked around to the back. There was a little door big enough to squeeze through, so I did. The cupcake creomatic was amazing inside. Mixing bowls roared as batter stirred. Pr sprinkles and frosting drizzled everywhere. I started poking around. The batter was blending nicely. It tasted good too. There were belts full of cupcake wrappers, all ready to be filled. I swapped out the plain ones for ones with polka dots. Then I saw that only half of the machine was working. The mixers weren't pouring batter into the wrappers. There must be a power switch in here somewhere, I said to myself. I looked up and there it was. The switch was way up at the top of the machine. I climbed all the way there. It's cupcake time, I said as I flipped it on. The cupcake creomatic started rumbling right away. In fact, it started rattling. Then it started shaking. Uh-oh, I said. The machine started filling up with batter. I want to eat a cupcake, I said, not be a cupcake. Something was definitely wrong. The machine shook from side to side. The walls were starting to crack. What is going on, I cried. Boom. The next thing I knew, I was outside again. The walls of the machine had fallen down around me. I was sitting on top of the world's biggest cupcake. Pinkalicious, cried Mr. Swizzle. What are you doing up there? Are you okay? I blinked. I smiled. Yes, I am perfect. In fact, I couldn't be better, I said. The crowd roared with laughter. Mr. Swizzle looked relieved. Dig in, everyone, he said. Everyone loved the giant tree. Sorry about your machine, I told Mr. Swizzle. That's okay, Pinkalicious, he said. From now on, I'll stick to ice cream and leave the cupcakes to you. The end. Thank you.